Rob here from Unio Media. In this video, we are going to be looking at the media carousel element in Elementor. So stay tuned. At Unio Media, we help companies to grow and thrive using the latest tools, tricks, and marketing techniques. From websites to online marketing, automated sales funnels, social media, and much more. We're always releasing new content on our YouTube channel, so make sure you click the like, subscribe, and notification button to make sure that you don't miss out. Just before we get going, I want to tell you about an exclusive offer we have on at the moment. We're giving away free access to our paid Hub Uno platform to the first 50 people that click the link in the description. We're going to be putting this link in the description of all of our videos, so make sure that you get in there as quick as you can. Within Hub Uno, we have created over 100 training videos in 13 courses, including a course on how to build a website using Elementor. You'll also find recorded webinars and a host of other free content, so remember to click the link in the description. Let's get on with the video. Hello, in this video, we are gonna be talking about the media carousel element of Elementor. For this to work effectively, you'll probably want some images already uploaded to your media library. Before we begin then, I've got a page layout of Elementor full width. I've got one section here with one column in and I've changed the background color of the section to blue. To get back to our elements then, we just need to click the grid here. Let's find our media carousel then. So let's click in here and search media and we can see our element appears and let's drag that into our column. So in this video, we are gonna look at content and style. A lot of the advanced options have their own videos. So if you wanna check those out, I suggest you do. Let's go over to content and begin. So the first thing we can select then is the skin. So we've got the default carousel here. We've also got slideshow and we've also got cover flow. In this video, I am going to go through the slideshow skin. The options differ only a slight amount uh, depending on which one you choose, um, but it follows the same principle really. We need to add some images into our Carousel. So the first thing we're going to do is select our first item. We're going to click on this window here and select our first image. And I'm going to go for these hands here. As you can see, we can change the type of media that's being shown. So we've got an image here, but you could also show a video, which I'm going to do. I'm going to put in a link here to our offline course video. So let's close that one off and select another image for item number two. I'm gonna go with this one. We can also see we can add a link to these images. So we can select a media file or a custom URL. If you are gonna link these images, just make sure that you select open in new window. So that when they close the website that you send them to, they'll come back to this page. So I'm just gonna skip ahead now then and put in the rest of these images. Okay, so I've now finished with the images. I'm gonna close this down, and now we're gonna select our effect. We've got slide, fade, and cube. Let's see what they look like. So currently we're on slide, fade. You can see the images just fade into each other. And we've also got cube. There we go. I am going to stick with slide. We've also got the height then. You can see how this changes on the screen now. Let's leave it about there. We've got slides per view. So this changes how many slides are underneath. Uh, I'm going to stick with the five images that I have put in. There we go. And we can also select the ratio. Now all my images are 16 by nine. So I'm going to select that. And we can also uh, toggle on centered slides. So if I turn that on, we can see that the slide that we're on will be the center image down here. Lastly then for content, we've got additional options. So this is whether to show your arrows or not. I'm gonna leave them on. We've got transition duration. So that's the time it takes to switch to the next slide. Autoplay, 
this will continuously change the slides the autoplay speed we can have an infinite loop as well so it will just keep sliding through we can pause to hover so when we put the mouse over the image will pause and it will stop sliding we've also got pause on interaction so when we actually click and interact with the slide it's also going to pause let's leave image size on full but let me show you how the other sizes work so if I did thumbnail for example it goes all blurry this is because it wants to show the image at the size of 150 by 150 pixels as this image is larger and we're displaying it in a large box it's going to blur the image it's stretching that image up at the dimensions that you've set it to so let's go back to full we've also got uh, the image fit so we've got cover contain and auto contain means that you'll see all of the image cover may crop some of your images out um, but it covers the entire area of the element so I'm just going to stop for a moment so that you can pause the video you can add your own media carousel in and then we're going to show you how to style this okay so let's go over to style then the first setting we've got is the space and that's the space between the image and the slides or the carousel underneath. We've also got a background color. This doesn't apply because we've filled the area with an image. But if I was to go back to content and change the image fit to contain, we can see that we've got that background color there. Let's switch that back to cover, go back to style, and I'll leave it on our blue. We've also got a border size then, so I'm going to go with 5 with a border radius of 0. The radius will smooth the corners, so I'll show you here. You can see the corners smooth off. But I'm going to go with 0 because we like sharp corners. Border colour, white. Padding then, I'll show you how this works. Padding is the area between the edge of the content and the border. I'm going to leave it on zero because I want the image to go to the edge where the border is. Next in style we've got the navigation. So we've got the size of the arrows. I'm going to put them fairly large because I want people to know that they can flick through here. Nice white colour. We've also got the play icon which is important for this slide. I'm going to change the colour to our you know green let's go back to that slide quickly there we go and change the size there we go I'm gonna leave it quite large there and we can put a shadow on that as well there are color options and blur options for this as well but uh, we won't go into that lastly we've got the light box so when I click play on the video we can see that the video jumps out from the carousel and it's displayed in what we have here, which is called a light box. So here we've got our color options or our style options for the light box. I'm going to go for this purple. You can play with the transparency if you like. I'm going to leave it on a solid purple. The UI color. So the UI are the arrows here on the side and the X at the top. I'm going to go for white. We've got the UI hover color. So when we hover over the arrows or the X, we can see the color changes. I'm going to set it to the green. And we've also got the video width. 100 being 100% 100 of the area and 50 being the smallest we can go in this. I'm going to leave it on 50. And that is really all there is to it when it comes to the media carousel. If you're happy with what you've done, don't forget to click the green update button and we will see you in the next video.